let's use the data set D4 to run a two-way ANOVA, meaning that we have two independent variables. And this time the interaction term is significant. In the previous example, uh, in, a, in another video, uh, we looked at an example where the interaction term was not significant, but this time the interaction is significant. Happiness is a continuous variable. We, we are going to use it as our outcome. Truck is an, a, a categorical variable. It has three levels. Uh, we have three groups. Uh, each group use one different truck. So three levels. And also we have nation. Uh, two nations. So we are going to use country and drug to predict happiness. Analyze general linear model, univariate. Our independent variables should go to the fixed factors box. Let's get some basic information first by clicking on options, descriptive statistics, the fixed sizes, and the equality of variance test. Continue. First thing to check is Levine's test of equality of error variances, uh, an important assumption for ANOVA. And like I explained in previous videos, we have to look at this significance level. And uh, in this case, it's not significant, which is good news. So this means that the assumption holds. Uh, the assumption is not violated. And things are now easier for us. Okay, this table is a, a very important table for us. We can see your main effects for country and drug, and also the interaction term. ANOVA automatically includes the interaction term. The main effect for country is significant with this effect size, 18% of the various happiness is explained by country. Drug is significant, smaller than 0 0.05. Uh, most people will consider this uh, as significant, but with a smaller effect size, and the interaction term is also significant with a larger effect size. Here we have a significant interaction. In order to understand the effect of country, because it has only two values, you, you can get a good uh, understanding of that from this table. You see that, for example, uh, the average in, in the USA is 18.8 .8, and in New Zealand is 14.8. So uh, New Zealand, uh, USA has a higher happiness average. So it's easy to understand. What about drug? Drug has three levels and we need to do a post hoc test to understand the, the main effect of drug. Analyze general linear model, univariate, post hoc. Send drug here and choose uh, your post hoc test of interest. Uh, for this demonstration, just click on two key, continue, okay. Now here in this table, multiple comparisons, you get the results of two key HSD test. And you can see that the difference between drug one and drug two is not significant. The difference between drug one and drug three is not significant. If you use uh, uh, 0 0.05 as your significance level, uh, but it's it can be considered marginally significant. And uh, also, uh, the difference between drug two and three is not significant. So the main effect of, uh, based on the F test, the main effect of drug is significant. And here we see that uh, the differences between drug groups uh, are not very large. But when you have a significant interaction, that uh, significant interaction is uh, very crucial for understanding uh, the results of your ANOVA. So let's uh, focus on the interaction term. What does it mean, a significant interaction term here between country and drug? In order to understand this significant interaction term, first of all, we need to get a plot. Uh, plots are one of the best ways to understand interactions. Analyze general linear model, univariate, click on plots. You can send country here, drug here, and click add. Also, it's good to get uh, another plot where drug goes up and country goes down, again, add. 
we need bar charts and we need to include a confidence interval. So continue. Okay. This time uh, you get the same results, but two plots. It's good to look at both of the plots to understand the, what, the interaction term, but uh, you have to choose one of them for your final report. Usually the, the moderator should be up and the predictor should be down. Your main predictor, focal predictor should be down and the moderator should, should be up. If you choose country as your moderator in this interaction term, then this plot is uh, preferred for you. But if you want to choose country as your main uh, focal predictor and drug as your moderator, then this plot is more helpful for you. Now here, you can easily see that each drug is uh, performing differently in the, in the two countries. For example, drug one is associated with higher happiness in the USA and lower happiness in New Zealand. Whereas drug two is associated with higher happiness in New Zealand and lower in the USA. So this plot is helping you to understand the interaction term. But still, we don't know one thing. There are more questions to answer here. For example, if you focus uh, on New Zealand, is the difference between drug two and drug one significant in New Zealand or not? What about the difference between drug two and drug three and drug three and drug one? Are these differences significant? In the USA, the difference between drug one and drug three, is it significant or not? So we need to do one more thing to figure these out. One easy way to answer this question is to split your file. So click on data, split file. In this box, send your moderator. Uh, let's choose country as our moderator. Uh, first click on compare groups, then send country to groups based on and click OK. Basically, what you have done is to tell SPSS to run the upcoming analysis separately in the two countries. Analyze general linear model univariate. Uh, you remove country from your ANOVA you basically have only one independent variable here, draw, and just click OK. This time, SPSS runs the ANOVA separately in USA and New Zealand. We have only one independent variable, drug. Drug is a significant predictor in USA, and the effect size is uh, about 46%. In New Zealand, Drug is again a significant predictor and the effect size is smaller. Uh, this is telling us something about the, the importance of drug as a predictor of happiness. More importantly, uh, this table is crucial. So you can see that in the USA, drug one and drug two are significantly different from each other, but drug one and three not significantly different from each other. Drug, drug two and drug three are also significantly different from each other in the USA. In New Zealand, drug one and two are significantly different from each other, but drug one and drug three are also significantly different in New Zealand. Drug two and drug three are not significantly different. Mm -hmm. uh, before I say a few things about reporting, I just want to tell you that you have the option to, to remove the interaction term. Sometimes if your interaction term is not significant, you may want to remove it from your ANOVA. Also, you can just uh, leave it there. Uh, yeah, you don't necessarily need to do that. But if you want to do it, there is an option. First, let's undo the splitting because we want to use both countries in our next analysis. So data, split file, and click on analyze all cases. So you're unsplitting the file here. Okay, then click on Analyze General Linear Model Univariate. Send country back to your analysis and click on Model. Change it from full factorial to build terms. This time, you, you can get the main effect of drug and the main effect of country. 
but no interaction term. But you have the option of including um, the interaction term if you choose both of the variables and then uh, select interaction from this menu and then click on this button here, then you can get the uh, interaction term, which becomes full factorial. But we want to lose the interaction term. So just two main effects, continue. Okay, this time in your ANOVA, you, you don't see the interaction term. So you have only two main effects. This is one way to report your ANOVA with um, the significant interaction. It's not very different from uh, the previous one that we talked about. So please watch the previous video as well. You report means the standard deviations and sample sizes for your groups. I, you also need your plot. It helps your readers to understand your interaction term. So you report the main effects, including the degrees of freedom and F value, P value, and partial A to square. The main effect for your for drug, for country, also, you report your interaction term and your interaction term is significant. So uh, the interaction term is displayed in figure one. You need this plot. And then you report that uh, you ran two ANOVAs separately in each country. And you re report the results of your separate ANOVAs for the USA and New Zealand. Then you report the results of your post hoc comparisons separately in both countries. Let's do it in JASP. In JASP, click on ANOVA, ANOVA, and happiness should go to this box, country and drug go to, to this box. You can request for descriptives, uh, effect sizes. In addition to partial eta squared, you can ask eta squared and omega squared as well. Assumption checks, you can ask for equality of variance test, the Levine's test, and you can request for a post hoc test for drug. We don't need to get post hoc tests for country because it only has two levels. And choose your preferred post hoc test from this list. And plots, you can get plots like a species, a country, and rock. You can ask for error bars or uh, you can send rock to the horizontal axis and country separate lines. So you get different types of plots here. Another option is to get rain cloud plots. Again, uh, send drug and country to these boxes. And these are the kind of plots that you can get.